Guys, I finally got it. Finally here! Ah! Look at that color! This is in the color Starlight. So the real question is, why did I buy a MacBook? I've been wanting to get a powerful laptop that I can use for work. I've been deciding if I should get a Mac or a Windows laptop. I know Mac is super expensive compared to the Windows laptop, but the main reason why I chose a MacBook is because of the Apple ecosystem. I have an iPhone and an iPad. It's easier to transfer files. Just use your iCloud account in all of your devices. All the documents and photos are all connected. So I think it's really convenient. So what are the specs of this laptop? This is the M2 MacBook Air, but I upgraded its memory and storage. I have the 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, 16GB unified memory, and 1TB SSD storage. I just don't want to regret in the future that I didn't get that much storage. I feel like I need more storage for all my files so that's why I upgraded to 1TB. So why get the M2 not the M3? So M3 is the latest version of the MacBook Air and I check and compare the two. There's really not that much difference but only the chip. That's just my opinion. I calculated it and I have to pay for another $200 just to get the latest one. So I went with the more cost-efficient side. I believe M2 is still great and can make wonders. I've watched some YouTube videos about the comparison. It really just points on how am I gonna use it in the long run. So why did I get an Air instead of a Pro? I want an Air because it's lighter than the Pro. That's pretty much the main reason. I just want that it's lighter, that I can bring outdoors or just even just here at home. I really don't want heavy stuff. So that's why I chose the Air. And I love the starlight color. As for the Pro, you only get, I think, dark gray and silver. But for me, I like starlight. So 
That's why I got the Air. I'm also a fan of the Air variants because I have the iPad Air 5. I really love how light it is and the color options are really good for Air versions. My first iPad is also is the iPad Air 4th generation and I upgraded it to the 5th generation so I had really no doubts. I've been using the Air 5 for about two years now. I have no regrets of buying it. I love it. I always use this every day. That's why I love the Air variants. It's light. It has a lot of color options and yeah, I like the design as well. Also, I know that Pro has its advanced features just like having SD card slots in here which I think it's a main thing for me because I also edit videos but I can just use my hub since I already own one. I can just insert here in this Type-C Work. So what am I gonna use the MacBook Air for? I plan to use it for my overall work as a full-time content creator. I also have a digital product business on the side. So I will use graphic design apps like Adobe InDesign and Illustrator. Before, I only use my iPad for everything. I use Keynote and Procreate for creating my planners and stickers. But now I'm really excited to use these tools to enhance my skills also and of course to improve the digital products that I create for you guys. I'm also excited to learn more advanced video editing apps, the Adobe Premiere Pro and the Final Cut Pro. I've been using CapCut and VLLO for my video editing for my short form and long form content. Don't get me wrong, I love CapCut. I love using it. It's very easy to use and there's like a lot of templates, a lot of text. I want to challenge myself to learn something new and of course to learn more advanced video editing editing apps. So I'm really really looking forward to use these powerful tools in the future. I also started downloading some Mac apps like WPS Office, the Flip Clock for widgets. In the new Mac Sonoma update, you can add widgets to the home screen. I'm excited to do that as well. As for the Mac apps, I'm currently researching what Mac apps that I should download. I know that I'm still a beginner in using Macs, so I'm going to research a lot more on what Mac apps that I should download. And if you have any recommendations that I can download, free or not, Help your girl out. Share them below in the comments. As for the accessories, still on the way. So I can't really show it now for this video. Maybe on the next video, I can show. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll share all the Mac accessories that I got. And also, I'm going to share how I customize my MacBook, all the home screen customization, and the widgets. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!